Hey everyone, Slipjoint Sawyer here. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be looking at a buck knife today, but before we jump into that, I just want to mention John over at Thrifty Kniffy has asked us to let him know our top five budget traditional folding knives. So anything under $50 that's available in the US, he's got a post on his channel. Um, he's asking for the top five. Please go and comment on it, like it, share it, and let him know what your top five are. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video so you can easily find it. Anyway, on with the review. So what we have is the Buck 389 Canoe. This one does get a fair bit of pocket time for me. You'll notice as I go around it, you can see like the bolsters are a bit scuffed up and things like that, but you know, it doesn't affect the knife at all. So it comes in the, the, the classic sort of laminated wood that the, the sort of budget line from Buck. You see he's got the Buck shield there, really nice inlay and stamped. Got nickel silver pins and bolsters, all nice and smooth. <clears throat> Transitions are really, really nice. Nothing there at all to sort of question about. It's all it's all sort of top notch. Really nice classy look as well from the front. Springs. Put together exceptionally well, I would say, for the price of the knife. I have had this for a couple of years. I think when I originally paid for this, it was about 30 GBP, great British pounds. I think it has gone up to about 40 now here in the UK due to inflation and things like that, but I reckon it's definitely still worth it. You can see there's a little tiny bit of gap in here and a little bit here, but there's no blade play or wobble and the knife is really sturdy, so nothing to bother me at all. And then you can see on the rear side of the knife again, you can see that really nice wood without the shield on it. You can see how it's sort of contoured as well, so it's thicker in the middle and then thinner down to the bolsters. All done, re all done exceptionally well. Everything's smooth as you would expect. Now this is a Chinese made buck, so it is imported. You can see as well the standard canoe pattern where you have the tangs of the blades hidden by this canoe shape on the bolsters. So, you know, it doesn't catch anything when you put it in your pocket, which is another bonus for the canoe. Another reason why I like this pattern so much. Two blades, quite tight in there. There is the tiniest amount of blade rub you can see there, but that's pull rub when you go to open it without opening the main blade first. So you can avoid that boat in the main blade if you wish, but it's so minor I haven't really bothered with it. Blades you can see are nicely centred in there. Nice blade thickness as well. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the main blade. And this is a, a really, really nice sort of spear point blade. You can see you've got the hollow grind there that Buck put on the majority of their knives. I have put my own edge on this, only really because I've had it for so long it needed a resharpen. Nice clean nail neck there, no matte strike or anything like that. And then you've got the flat, almost sabre grind I would say, but it's definitely hollow grind, it's like a mix of both. And you can see the Buck tang stamp there, the 389. And then you have the what looks like a cross, but it's slightly separated by a dot on the right hand side. And that is the age related tang stamp to be able to date the knife using that. I'm not entirely sure what this one is. I probably should have looked before the video, but I'm not sure. And then the rear of the blade, you can see that blade rub a little bit while I was on about. Very sort of minor, nothing really to worry about. Sort of use scratches on the blade. I do use this, you know opening packages around the house, things like that. And this is their 420 J2 steel as opposed to the 420 HC they use on the their more sort of standard models. So not as good steel, but it holds a really, it holds an excellent edge. Edge retention is fantastic. No worries, this is going to get you through your whole day. Um, I've done a majority of tasks throughout the day and I just strop it at the end of the day then. No worries that you're going to run out of, out of blade. As well, cam tang, so no half stop, and a nice pull. This one I'd say the pull is it's about a six, six and a half, and then decent retention, but if you do choke up on the, the kick here, you've got no worries, it's gonna close on you, it's just gonna you know bite into your finger here. We'll take a look at the pen blade now. You can see China there, you can see where that's where it was made and stamped in there. 
really clean stamp on that one as well. They do a good job back with their tang stamps. And you can see plain on this side. Now this has the factory edge on it, as I don't use the pen blade as much. But I just strop it and it, it takes a razor edge. Slightly thicker on the tip, but nothing to write home about. Perfectly functioning blade. No blade play whatsoever. Nice action. I'd say about a five and a half to a six pull on this one. But it's a pen blade. You're not going to be doing a hard day's work with this little tiny blade. So we'll have a quick look at some measurements. So you can see the standard buck canoe pan is one, two, three. Just over three and a half. One, two, three. Just over three and a half. So 3.6, 3.65 inches. And then the main blade which we have at one, two, just over two and a half of the full blade. But then if you bring it down to the cutting edge of the UK, you've got one, two and a quarter. So a legal knife in most places, definitely UK legal. And that one I would highly recommend. Take a look at the length of the pen blade. Very small blade, this one. So no worries at all about this one. Full length, you've got one, just over one and three quarters, and then the cutting edge, one just over, just under one and three quarters. So again, another UK legal blade there. Overall opinions of this knife, I, I'm not going to lie, I love this knife. I, it gets a lot of carry time, and I don't think canoes get as much love as they should. It's, it's a really well engineered pattern. It's a bit like the cop head, you know, where they have, you know, just like this down here to hide the blade you know, the tang of the blade, but you know, you get an equal ended sort of one. Really do recommend this for anyone that's looking to get into the traditional canoe pattern. And it's definitely a solid place to start, especially with the, you've got the Buck Forever warranty, which I actually haven't used yet. And along with that, you know, a top quality steel, really well constructed, and then you get the Buck name on there. So what more could you ask for? So there you go, guys. That's my review of the Buck 389 canoe. Hope you all enjoyed this. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.